all my friends, Miss Karen is here to read to you a wonderful fairy tale about a princess, a prince, and a dragon. And it's probably one that you all are familiar with, but it's one of my favorites. It is called The Paper Bag Princess, written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Marco, Michael Marchenko. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. There he is. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horse's bones. Hmm, she looks pretty angry in that picture. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burned up fifty forests. Wow, look at that fire. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath. But this time, nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head in right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired that he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes, your hair is all tangled, and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. 
Come back when you are dressed like a princess. Ronald said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. The end. It's really not about the clothes you wear or about how you look. It's about how you act and you have to be a friend to make a friend. We all know that. Have a wonderful day, friends, and we'll see you soon.